What's up you guys, it's Amber at Amber's Closet and today I'm going to talk about something that I've talked about often but I don't think that you can ever be too clear on this subject and that is just some advice on coming out. I've received a lot of emails that I'm not really able to like get back to all you guys and then a lot of questions on my Sublime channel about coming out and specifically on when to come out and how to come out to your parents, what age, how to tell them, you know, different things like that. Really what I realized is that majority of you guys seem like you're rushing to do it you know, you're like, you're emailing me, oh, I found out I'm bisexual, or I, fig or I like girls, or I like this, and I really, really wanna hurry up and tell my parents how do I tell them I'm 13, 14, 15. And like, I just think that that age is like really young, you guys. And I know I've said this on a video before, but to be honest, like, if you try to tell your parents too early, or if you are too young, or whatever, right away, parents are gonna act mostly two ways. And it's defensive, or they're gonna think right away that you're in a phase. If you're in the 13 to 17 year old age range, your parents are most likely gonna always say, oh, you're in a phase, or, you know what I'm saying, like try to, you know, threaten your life in some way, or, you know, take things away from you, or they won't let you hang out with friends, or, you know, they'll, you know, be strict on you until you move out. Right away, if you tell them you're gay, a lot of times they'll get defensive because they think that this might be something that they did, you know, or, you know, they don't like it, or they're just not educated on it, so then it just becomes like this whole big thing for them that's just like way over their heads. So they can be defensive in that way. So that was one of my number one things that I really want to say to you guys is like, don't rush and do it. Don't feel like you have to hurry up and come out and tell them just because you have feelings. Because to be honest, like, I kept majority of those inside for a really long time until I was absolutely comfortable. And I waited until I was in a grown adult or relationship with a woman and with her for almost a year. And that's when I was like, you know what? It's time for me to tell people because it's not, it's not like nobody knew. There's a lot of people that did know, but I'm talking about majority of people. I didn't know how they were gonna react. So for me, I wanted to make sure that I was fully comfortable and I knew exactly, and this is what it was in my life. It wasn't gonna change before I did it. So that's why I just encourage you guys to do that because even though it took me longer than I wanted to, it was easier because of the way I went about it. So the other thing that you guys do is like, you rush to come out and you rush to throw yourself in a category hella quick. Please, let me tell you guys, do not feel like you need to. If you're having feelings of uh, being attracted to the opposite sex, it doesn't mean right away that you're uh, just gay. You know what I'm saying? You can be bisexual, you can have, just being curious, you know? That's part of just like your sexuality and growing up and like, you know, kind of trial and error and experiencing things and things like that. So don't rush to put yourself in a category because I get that a lot. You guys email me and be like, oh, I like girls, so that means I'm this or it means I'm that. Like, don't even worry about it. Humans are sexual beings and I know some people are gonna be be really mad at this but I feel like majority of people you know do have the capability to like the opposite or like the same or whatever just be se sexual people so, you know what you would call bisexual if you're not straight if you're not this you're like in that range and so I feel like majority of people are like that so you guys are not alone when you guys have these you know feelings of maybe liking somebody or you know trying something or whatever so you're not alone so because of that don't rush to put yourself in a category so at the end of the day really I just wanted to tell you guys not to feel a rush to come out and have to tell people right just because you have like some feelings of being curious or questions about your sexuality you don't have to put yourself in a category you don't have to rush to tell people I think you should really take your time and then really get to a point where you know kind of as a young adult that you know exactly what your life is, what you like, um, and you know, what you want going forward. And then at that point in time, I feel like that might be the right time. For those of you that are young and you're ready, this has nothing to do with you guys, believe me. I give all you guys props for being able to come out and just be who you are and not really caring. But this is for those like me growing up that had a little bit of trouble and were scared to tell people and wanted to kind of hide their feelings until they were ready. So this is for you guys. I know on a lot of these coming out videos, I don't always answer the exact questions that you guys want or you're asking. So make sure that you put in the comments below any questions that you have in this like coming out realm, you know, of any tips or anything like that. Make sure you put them down below. I want to help out. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how to tell your close friends or how to pick up on if your best friend is flirting with you, things like that. So put those down below so I can help you guys out in the future. All right, love you doll face gangsters. I will see you soon. Peace. Stay amazing, you guys. Stay amazing, my doll face gangsters. Hey.